Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Mathless Academy, and this treat is called Coin Slide. It's from the book Thinking Mathematically by John Mason, one of my favorite books on problem solving. And I actually need your help because I have not solved this yet. Here is the setup. You have three large coins, all of the same size. I know mine aren't perfect, but imagine these three coins to be identical large coins. And you have three small coins, and they're all touching each other in this line. And your job is to try and move them uh, two at a time, two adjacent coins at a time, so that you can get three big ones together and three little ones together with no spaces in between. And when you move them, you can only slide them. You can't take these two and flip them around so that the big one ends up on this side and the small one on that side. You can just move it like this. So you can imagine I take these big these two and move them here over here. That would be good. I'd have two big ones next to each other. Uh, and so think about then what you might do next. You've left a gap over here. How do you fill that gap? Maybe you're going to end up moving the whole line somewhere else. I don't know. But once you make a move, you don't get to just smush the coins back together. The empty spaces stay empty spaces until you fill them with something else. So that is the coin slide problem. As I said, I don't know how to solve it yet. So I am looking forward to getting some help from you to help figure this out. I can imagine that if you figure this out, you might want to count how many moves it took. Is there, are there multiple solutions could be another question. And how do you generalize it? What if I add another large coin and another small coin? Then what? Can you still solve it? Is it now impossible? If you can solve it, how? How many moves? All of that. So all those kind of standard extensions that we usually do in these math treats, you can try on this one if you can even solve the original coin slide problem. If you've been following along with math treats, we did have one called jumping frogs, which is kind of similar, and maybe something that you might have learned from that one could also help you with this one. I don't know, again, because I haven't solved it. So that is your math treat for this week. As always, get some coins, get started, and just see how far you can go. Have fun playing with the math.